Welcome to Leaked Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, here for another episode of the show. And uh, we've got a, uh, a wine that uh, I bought because of the name, bought because of the label, which is what most people do, right? So at the HEB, the local uh, grocery store, the main grocery store in San Antonio, and uh, I bought this because I saw the name called Sawbuck. Um, it's, the label is kind of made like a, an old time, you know, older a uh, older sawbuck, an older piece of uh, currency, paper currency. Uh, this is the 2006 Sawbuck Malbec. Um, it is from California. The uh, it says on here the official Yolo County Sawbuck. And the thing I the thing that's really weird about this label is that it doesn't really have an app an official appellation. Okay, so uh, more about that in a second. 998 at HEB, um, 2006. Well, it says Appalachian Yolo County, but in my search, I didn't really find Yolo County as an Appalachian of California. It may have been one in 2006, and then it got, maybe it got changed. But um, anyway, so Yolo County, let's tell you where that is. Uh, it's in the northern part of California. Uh, it's east of the Napa Valley. And um, this wine is a Malbec. Uh, it's 81% Malbec. I, I love the fact that you guys, if you're watching this, uh, have a, have a um, uh, spec sheet. Though I had to Google it. It wasn't on the website necessarily. Uh, it's one of those, you know, you Google for the vintage and it brings you to the website or it brings down, downloads the PDF file. So at least it was still available on your server. Um, anyway, sorry, eighty-one percent Malbec, ten percent Cabernet Sauvignon, and nine nine percent Petit Syrah. Um, now, this grape was in the wine description on the. Uh, by the way, the, the the wording on here must be the same every single vintage because the two thousand six little description is exactly the same as two thousand eight. So both must have aromas of ripe red apples, blackberries, uh, and vanilla. And vanilla something. A oh, vanilla stay focused in the palate. The wine has a long, lingering finish with hints of spice and leather. So I guess every single year is exactly the same. I mean, they should have some consistency to it. But uh, anyway, and I'm sure every wine does. It's, they're not the only one that, that puts the same description on each wine label every year. But uh, I can already start smelling it. So they, they talk about the Malbec is grown in a matchbook vineyard in Dunnigan Hills. Now, uh, the people that are behind this, um, the, the people that are behind this wine uh, were also uh, behind R.H. Phillips and Toasted Head wine brands. So if you're familiar with those, um, same people that are behind it. Uh, Cabernet Sauvignon was from the, both the Chalk Hill and Lake County Appalachians. And... Uh, didn't say where the Petit Syrah came from, so it could have come from anywhere in California, or maybe it came from one of those, uh, one of those other areas. All right, so let's uh, let's check it out. So far in the nose, I like it. Okay, just making sure the microphone's on. I had to plug in the camera, by the way, because the other. Um, I guess it ran out of juice from taking pictures earlier today and hopefully the new it's the new avatar at this point and uh, doing the stuff so mental note I need to buy at least one more battery if I'm going to be going on the road with this thing so um, I don't know I, I mean I smell stuff on the wine um, it smells nice 
It's more minerality than, than fruits. I, I don't smell red apples. Um, blackberries, maybe. But I don't smell any red apples. Maybe I'll taste the red apples. But apples are not something I, I usually associate with red wine. I mean, I guess by power of suggestion, and I'm trying to find the apple-y aroma to it, I might, but they may be talking more of the, more of the flavor. Right, let's just go and taste it. I feel the alcohol. It feels like it's just kind of all over the place on me. Thirteen and a half percent alcohol. Um, I hate keying in on the alcohol first because it makes it sound like it's a bad wine. It's not a bad wine, but I am getting that. Um, I guess if I really think about it, I'm getting red apples. But again, it's power suggestion. The label's telling me I'm supposed to taste that, so I taste it, or I'm trying to say, yeah, I, I taste a little bit appleiness to it. The black, the 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 uh, with the blackberries, more of that, and yes, the vanilla. Plus a little bit of pepperiness, more the heat from peppers. Not the overt like green pepper jalapeno flavor, but more kind of the, the 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 heat from it. And it's not the alcohol heat. It's, it's not confusing alcohol heat with, with spiciness heat. So but there's a there's a spiciness to it. And it's got some sweetness to it. You know, it's got a hint of sweetness to it. Um, so you got you got a little bit of sweet and spicy. Um, decent combination. But it doesn't it doesn't wow me. It's tasty. I taste a little bit of cream, you know. So the oak is the oak is kind of giving it that 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 dairy type of thing. Um, it, it's the finish is starting to, to 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 grow on me. So now I'm starting to think it's actually a little bit better than my initial thought. I like it. I like it better now than I did about 60 seconds ago. Again, it's had, it's had a little more time to open up inside the glass, um, kind of, kind of start finding its, its flavor. However, I wouldn't say that it's like the best Malbec or best wine I've ever had. It's flavorful. It's tasty. It's, it's easy, not easy drink, but, but it's, 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 it's drinkable and not in a bad sense. I don't mean like you know how Bud, Bud Light. Was it was it Bud Light that was called? We're drinkable. I mean, to me, drinkable means like you, it's you know, okay, it's it's you can drink it, but it doesn't have anything to it. It's it's not that kind of drinkable. It's drinkable because it, it's it's tasty. I think that many people will like it. It's not necessarily up my alley, so that's why I don't want to really score it too low. I'm gonna say it's probably closer to like an 86 wine for me. Um, some of that is my personal. You know, not that I don't like Malbecs. I have enjoyed plenty of Malbecs in the past. Um, but it doesn't, it doesn't really grab me. It's, it's one of those wines where I can be like, sure, you know, drink it during a, during a, you know, a dinner and not really think about it. it it's, it's a beverage that's tasty. It will complement many dishes, but it's not something I'm going to go, wow, you know what? I've got to get Sawbuck. Uh, and so 86 sounds like a little bit high of a score to give, but at the same time, I, I think a lot of people will enjoy it. So that's why it's it's not necessarily my palate score. It's it's a it's a score where I think um, it's something where I can recommend that you that people could buy it and enjoy it. All right, so uh, that's going to be it with the sawbuck. Um, just real quick, stick around there. So um, somehow I'm going to figure out a way to be able to give 
a sheet of these away. I don't have very many right now. I just kind of got uh, from one of my local vendors, local people, Promo George and Promo Paula, his wife, um, from Promo Promovations. I think that's the name of the company. Uh, not this shirt, but where I got my Tweet Me shirt. Um, this shirt, by the way, you can buy from the little swag thing. Um, but uh, uh, figure out a way I can I can make it so you can get a sheet of these to do a little gorilla gorilla marketing. There's only like 12 of them on here, so maybe I'll buy some more. Maybe figure out a way to send people out like th two or three sheets. If you have a way, if you, if you think of a way for me to have a contest of some sort. Um, so you can get one for free. I, mean, I, I just ship it out to you. I mean, it's not going to cost me really much to, to mail it to you. Let me know. Tweet me. Email me. Uh, send me a Facebook message. Friend me up. Tell your friends about it. I'm back, and uh, we'll see everybody again next time.